Mark Savage here, welcome to my channel. It's a long time coming, Honda Pan European or ST1300. These are big gels. However, if you're a regular view of my channel, I just recently had a Triumph Trophy 1215. Much bigger than this, much heavier than this, all round bigger. So when I sat on this, if I'm honest with you, I was quite surprised how small it felt. Now, I do love the FGR 1300s, and to be honest with you, this comes up well, first, actually, extra gadgets on this one. Now, I know you do have to be 50-year-old to have one. I'll get slated for that, I'm sure. Um, but I'm nearly there. Now, massive, massive tank. 29 litres, some say 28, so we'll leave that out there. Nearly 120 brake doesn't mean a thing when you've got a big touring bike like this. 281 dry weight, kilos, that is. Now, the 29-litre tank... It's going to be a bit more heavier. But again, compared to the Trophy I just recently had, this feels a lot lighter. And the same spec, I'd say, personally, is the FJR 1300. But what do these babies come with? A lot, and I do mean a lot. Well, not all of them. I have never seen one with this. So you know what it means, don't you? Oh, yes. It has a radio on it. Now, you know I kept on about the Triumph Trophy radio. This is just mammoth RDS and it comes also with a Garmin sat-nav. These aren't standard, these are obviously extras, but someone has paid a lot of money to add these on. Also a one inch bar lift. Now it does cause some problems without the sun being in the way. Look at where the keys are. That is a real fumble around to get the keys on and off, and especially as it's got a bloody alarm, which you know I love. However, with the sat nav and the bar risers, yeah, that's a bit of an on and off. These are known, and I don't know if you can see the colour. It's not black. It's supposed to be a green, but it absolutely pops in this light. And if you look at the back, it looks blue, and in a different light, it looks sort of a purpley colour. I am very much in love with the colours. This is a Mark I ST1300. It is on 2003 model. It's a 52 plate here in England. Now, you know I've moaned about this for many years. The bum of them. Ugh, I don't know. I'm going to get to love it, I guess. And again, this one had more extras. Mmm, spoiler. With integrated stoplight. Back plate with armrests for a T-Rex. Small arms. Eh. Very nice seat. Radio. I don't get why this pocket that is not lockable is a nice deep pocket. Hmm. What are those? Pocket. Let's try and get the keys out. What the? Oh, there's the Garmin sat nav cover. But that's a little bit. Hmm. If you'd watched my video of me installing a crash cam, I would have definitely put it in that pocket. It's lockable. As it's not lockable, I don't know if I can put a lock on there, but I'd probably like to have a camera on back and front on here as well. As for the boxes... They're a fair size, aren't they? And they're key to like, but a back box isn't. A bit odd, although it's definitely a pan-European back box. Definitely big enough to get a helmet in. Wiring. Now you know when someone loves a bike when you see this much history. I mean, oh wow. Ooh, two keys. And explaining the manual about the radio. Hey, how hard can it be? On and off. How hard can it be? Power on, power off. Yeah. For the exhaust, no. I'm not going to change them. A bit, a bit silly really. It is a proper cruiser. ABS on the rear wheel there. That's a big old bugger. And dual braking on this one. Not bad tyres. I'm guessing we've got the number 120 at the front and 70 at the back. Smaller than I thought, but hey, it's the Mark 1. And they're having these old bumper bits here, just in case you do whack it in the garage. It's not all plastic, is it? And as for the dash on these... Alarm. Yeah, I love them. Uh, uh, uh. Key. This has got a massive 47,000 miles on it. But... I've seen some of these with 60, 70, 80, and 90,000 miles. What does this do? 
Look at that. Okay, it's not picking up the radio station very well, but we get the basics. Okay, didn't need to, didn't realise I turned that off. That must be me in the back of the van. We do have the massive electric screen. Oh my God, that's high. My last setting on it, that's a high screen. Now, I'm gonna do a ride out video on this one next, see what the ride's like, but they were notorious. These bikes were notorious for supposedly having a wobble around about 80 to 90 miles an hour. Um, we'll see on the next video. It all came from a guy who was doing the videos for these, doing 120 something miles an hour on these round the bend, and uh, they might have a wibble there. The back boxes are only supposed to have nine kilos in them. Do become unstable with much heavier weights, so I've been told. Anyway, there's a quick review, a quick look round a nice pan. DTS Garage has got one of these. He loves it. So hey, if he's got one, why can't I have one? Alarm. And this should get me through the winter. Nice and clean condition. Let's see if it stays that way. I am going to use a bit of this ACF 50 on it. And I'm gonna spray all the parts that need spraying. Not the discs, say. Honda's ST1300, pan-European, nice V4. 47,000 miles on the clock, 120 brake horsepower. Massive 29, 28 litre tank, can't make the minds up. I mean, when I get these specs, I do look through the internet, and some specs say one thing, some say another. So it's brake horsepower, it's 119. I think uh, the Suzuki K's, they all say 130, 140, 150 brake. You just gotta dissimulate what's best and what sounds right up on the bike. Next video up and coming will be a ride out on this one, actually. I'll do that soon. Um, but otherwise from that, yeah, not a bad bike. Every extra known to man. I haven't even noticed it's got up and down lights on here and the clock functions and trip meters, not on the radio. Um, has it got cruise control? Don't use it anyway. And I've got my lazy man little wrist that I have on here. So, oh, heated grips as well. Not your cheap Oxford ones, are they? So let's see if this gets through me for the winter and a nice ride. Well, take care of yourselves on the road. Please like, share and subscribe. I'll keep making them.